Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. I just want to apologize right away if my voice is a little bit raspy. I have been losing my voice over the past week, um, so just bear with me as I do this tutorial. So for this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you some graphics in uh, with Python. So pretty much, if you've watched some of my previous tutorials, I did stuff with Pygame, I made a side scroller, we did like some other kind of game, and then I showed you some basic games just using the Python IDLE. So this is kind of an in-between. Um, it's going to be using something called the turtle module to pretty much move an object around the screen that's going to be drawing something kind of like a pen. And it's cool and it's it's pretty easy to start off with uh, graphics in Python. So I'm just going to show a quick example here um, just by running the script that I wrote. So it just asks if you'd like to play. I click yes or click enter. And then you can see it lines up a bunch of turtles on the screen and then they start racing like this. So you can see the yellow ones off to the lead and they just kind of randomly move uh, up the screen. Now, the reason they stopped here is just because when I made the script, it was on a laptop. So the screen was a lot smaller, but you can kind of see how that works. So that's like a pretty simple program you can make um, with the turtle module. The reason I have all this stuff here is just because once I finish doing that, I have it right out into a uh, text file, just kind of scoring how many wins each color turtle has. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys well, what is a turtle, how does it work, um, and how we can kind of move it around the screen a little bit and make some cool shapes uh, and experiment with some different objects. So the first part of turtle graphics is importing the module. So this is built into Python. You don't need to install anything. Um, all you have to do is just type import turtle like that as your first line in your program. All right, so underneath my comment here, underneath the header, I just put in import turtle. Now what we need to do is we need to create a new turtle object. So pretty much the way it works is you create a turtle object and then you can run methods on that object to move the turtle around the screen, to make it disappear, to stamp something. There's a lot of cool things you can do um, that I'm going to show in the next kind of tutorials. So first we'll make a turtle object. So I'm going to call mine Tim. I'm going to say equals turtle dot turtle like that. So the class for turtle is this and we're just refer referencing the module turtle. All right, and now we can set a few basic properties for our turtle. So they have one called color, so tim.color. Um, this can be like an RGB value as well, but right now we're just going to stick with basic colors. So I'm just going to put, uh, let's put red. You can do tim.pen size. And what this does is change the thickness of the line that's going to appear when the turtle is kind of running around the screen and drawing. Um, and this for pen size, I'm just going to put. It's not in quotes, what am I doing? It's gonna put five. And then we can do tim.shape as well. So these are kind of the three basic properties that I always like to start off teaching um, because you can do a few things in them. You can change them around uh, as you move the turtle around the screen. So tim.color, tim.pen size, tim.shape. For shape, we have a few different options. I believe there's arrow, circle, turtle, and you'd kind of have, you'd have to look up the other ones if you want to see what the shapes are, but the one I'm going to use is turtle for now. I'll leave a link in the description down below to the like turtle module um, manual, I guess. So you can look at all the different options if you want to do that. So let's just go ahead and run the program now and see what we've got going. So you can see now what we have is we have a red turtle in the middle of the screen. Has it moved? Nothing's happening. And this is our little turtle window. It's going to be different size based on how big your monitor, your display is. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to move our turtle around the screen. So you can see it starts off facing right. Um, so let's start moving it. So the basic methods that we can use to move our turtle are forward, backwards, or I believe it's back, yeah, and backwards like that. And then we have tim.left and tim.right. Now there is a bunch of other ones that you can use to move the turtle. There's uh, ones like set position, set X, set Y, um, go to here, whatever, right? But the ones we're going to use are just forward, backwards, left, right. So what I first want to do is I want to first start by moving my turtle 100 pixels to the right. So 100 is not that many, but you'll see what it is. And then after I do that, I'm going to turn to the left. And inside of this parameter here, it takes an angle. So if you all, if you want to turn left, it's going to go left and then the angle that you put it. So if you put 45, it's going to appear as if you're moving at an 135 degree angle, but it's because it moved left 45 degree angles from where it was. So I'm just going to put 90 to make sure that mine kind of goes like in a box shape. And I'm going to go Tim dot forward another 100 pixels. And then I'm going to go Tim dot right 90 like that. 
and let's just see how this looks right right now just by running the program and you can see we go up go boom boom and there we go and then we turn right like that so if i wanted to make a box i would turn left 90 and it would go uh like that so on all right now a few other methods that we can use here are one that's called uh pen up and pen down now these are useful when you want to move the turtle around not getting too complex but you don't want to see the line drawn underneath the turtle so for example if i do tim dot forward and then tim dot left 90 and i do tim dot pen up and then after here do tim dot pen down and tim dot forward another 100 pixels let's watch what happens so we see we draw it lifts the pen up and then it draws another line to the right so that's another way you can move the turtle without it really appearing like you're moving the turtle you can also make the turtle invisible uh, you can make it visible again you can change the shape all the stuff that I've done up here you're able to do while you move the turtle so for example if you wanted to change colors before we drew this next line I would do oops actually since we're not drawing there do Tim dot color and then green just like that run the program and you can see it goes goes up and then draws a green line all right so let's see what else we can kind of do here with the turtle method uh with the turtle module so these are the really basic shapes um are not shapes methods sorry that you can use for turtle um you can actually draw some pretty cool pictures with it um do some different things and you can also have more than one turtle object at a time so for example, if I wanted to make a new turtle object, I could do Dave equals turtle dot turtle like this. And then I'm going to set Dave uh, with a bunch of properties as well. So I'm going to say Dave dot color and we'll give him blue and then Dave dot pen size. And let's make his pen size 20 so we can really see the difference. And then we're just going to leave his shape as the default shape just to show you what it looks like. Now I want to start off by doing Dave dot backwards. I'm going to move him backwards 100 pixels. Um, and yeah, let's see what happens here when we have two turtles moving at the same time. Like that. Well, we ran into an error here. There's no attribute backwards. Okay, so it actually is just backward, not with the S. Always get that one mixed up. And then you can see Dave starts in the middle of the screen and he moves back uh, 100 pixels like that. So you can have multiple turtles. If you wanted to move them at the same time, um, it's kind of difficult to do that. You would just have to do one command executed after another. So if you wanted it to look like they're moving at the same time, then it would go Tim.forward100 and then Dave.backwards100 right after, and they would kind of move quickly. And one last thing, you can also change the speed of the turtle. So you could do Dave.speed, and you could put this at, for example, one, which I believe is the slowest. And so it still goes really fast for speed one, but if you go speed five and you're drawing a lot of lines, then it would go much faster. So that's kind of been a really brief introduction to the turtle module. I'm going to move into making kind of like a game with it in the next few tutorials. I just wanted to introduce you guys and show you what you're able to do with the turtle module. Hopefully you guys are excited for the next videos. I know this one was kind of boring, um, but you always have to start somewhere, right? So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you again in the next one.